Hello and welcome to CGD Games. My name's Lee, aka CGD, and welcome to this first look of Brewmaster Beer Brewing Simulator on the Xbox. Uh, this landed on the store, I think, today. Um, so you can uh, purchase this. I think it's fifteen pounds. Uh, it's developed by Auroc Digital and published by Fire Shine, Fire Shine Games. Um, I have actually. Um, given this a first look in the past and it is already on the channel uh, for PC but we'll give it a go on the Xbox and uh, we'll see how it is with a controller uh, more than anything uh, so it looks like we've got the old cursor a floaty, cur floaty cursor uh, as many games have nowadays so we'll uh, Let's have no. We won't look at the options. We'll go straight into a new game, and we'll go into the Brewmaster mode. We don't want to disable the tutorial. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Here we go. This uh, fella here, welcome brewer. You're about to take your first steps into the world of home brewing, a world packed with creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beers. Brewing is an art with endless possibilities where true mastery can take a lifetime. Yet, at its heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot, throw a few ingredients together, and create a tasty, thirst-quenching beer to share with friends and family. So that's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. Right, so thanks for that, Jeff. So story objective is brew a beer using the extract brewing method. And the tutorial objectives is retrieve brew pot small from the equipment cupboard. So obviously where that uh, exclamation mark is. We've got some funky music playing in the kitchen. So uh, we'll open that cupboard there. So there we are. The storage screen is where you can retrieve equipment or ingredients that you own. The item shown depends on which storage area you've opened. For example, the equipment cupboard contains tools and containers. To retrieve an item, select the item's icon and press the retrieve button, which is A. The item will be added to your invent inventory, which you carry around with you. So there we are. We have a brew pot. So we go back. Fill the brew pot small with 21 litres of water. So uh, we pop that down there. So I think... Hang on. Ow, ow, the, the lid's on. Is this going to work? So... Is that actually working through the lid? I don't know. Surely that's not filling up, and I have no idea. No, it's not. I didn't think that would be the case. So, pick it up. Um, how do we? How do we take the lid off? It's only giving me an option to pick up. I'm trying to get the cursor on the. I have no idea. Am, am I missing something here? LT build mode. No, I don't want. I don't want build mode. Um, rotate. Rip that. Why? I was completely missing that then. All right. So there we go. Open it up. So we are up to less than a liter. This is going to take a while. So fill the brew pot with twenty-one liters of water. And place the brew pot in the sink. Remove the lid and turn on the tap. You can use your watch LT to accelerate time. If you can accelerate your watch LT to accelerate time. That's what I'm doing. Oh, blimey. I don't know what happened there. This is very confusing. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. We can keep an eye... Whoa, 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 slow down. Slow down, Shep. Right, we're up to... Oh, I've put too much bloody water in now. Um, ah, it's overflowing. Turn off the tap. Turn off the tap. Right, pick it up. Poor can. Right, so we've, we're up to 24 litres here, so we need to get rid of some of this water. So... Here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now we've only got 19 litres in there. Right, stop pouring. Place item. 
And turn on the tap again. This is going really well, isn't it? So we're all right here now. We can turn that tap off shortly. Once we've got 21 litres in there, doesn't matter if we go a little bit over. Eight, nine. Right, I'm going to turn it off. Right, there we go. But where do you want me now? Heat, brew, pot small on the hob. Is that all we've got in this kitchen? Right, there we go. So let's turn this bad boy on. How do we turn this on? One of the dials here? No. Pick up, rotate, attach lid. We're going to need the lid on, of course. There we go. So is this going to let me... No. No. What would you like me to do here, Squire? Um, remove the brew pot from the sink and place it on the kitchen hob and turn the hob on. The kitchen, all right, X. I need to read things a little bit better. Right, whilst the water heats, we can add our first ingredients. Retrieve a can of malt extract from the fridge freezer. Right, here we go. So, so we need some malt extract. So we've got a light malt extract. And an amber. So we're going to go for the amber, I think. We'll retrieve that one. Um, it didn't say how much I need. So I'm just going to take the one tin. We need two kilos. I've only got... So we're going to need some more of that. We're going to need another... A lot of this. We're going to need another seven tins on it, aren't we? Um, three, yeah, three retrieve. So we're going to need... Oh, no. Oh, you're joking me. Right, I'm going to take two kilos of it. Um, and then we are going to remove the lid. And then we're going to pour into... Right, here we go. So there's two, two kilos going in now. Two kilos going in. Increase. Oh, yes. Listen to that. That was beautiful. Here we go, pouring our amber malt extract in there. So that's that done. Have we got a bin? What do you want me to do with this, fella? Is there, is there a dustbin? Yes, there's the dustbin. There we go. Place that in the dustbin. There we go. Jobs are good. Right, so we'll was over here now, and it's asking us to retrieve a bag of steepable grain from the ingredients cupboard. We'll open there. So we've got some Vienna Crystal Steepable and Ultra Pale Steepable. So we'll go for some Ultra Pale. In fact, how many did it... 500 grams it wants me to have of this. So let's get that to 500 grams. That's that confirmed. Back. There we go. So we need to take the lid. Oh, the lid's already off the pot. Now, so it's telling us to put it there. Place item. There we go. Boil the wort in brewing pot small. Small. Contain heating the brew pot until the wort is boiling around 100 degrees Celsius. You can use your watch LT to accelerate time. So currently, the temperature is 16 degrees. So we press LT. And then we can uh, accelerate the time, keeping an eye on that temperature. Because once it gets to 100, we're going to need to whip out that wart. Let's get it up to 500 times now. It's getting up nice and quick. I need to slow it down shortly. In fact, the actual speed that it's going is... Uh, going to get to 100. Right, let's... Right, so now, one, oh, hang on it. Now the water's boiling, time to add another crucial ingredient, hops. So where are we getting hops from? Open the fridge. Okay, so bittering hops are down here. Continue. Right, okay. So we've got some British hops. How many do we need? Uh, retrieve 20 grams of any bittering hops and 50 grams of British hops. So we need... Magnus sounds nice. Uh, so I'm going to get 20 grams of that, confirm, and then 50 grams of, we'll get some Ruggle, sounds like something from Harry Potter. Uh, we need 50 grams of that, confirm, right. 
so. Add the Magabitrin hops. So, place item. Place item. Continue the boil for 10 minutes, then remove all bags and turn off the hob. So, it's now 12.46. So we need to speed up time to 1.46. Sorry. No. 12.56. Come on, Lee. Get with it, sunshine. Yeah. Keeping an eye on the watch. Here we go. Right, there we go. Right. How do I take these off? So I remove that. Remove that. Remove that. We'll put them in the bin. Like so. They're all in the bin nicely. Now pick up that boiling hot uh, container. Continue the boil for 10 minutes and then remove all bags and turn off the hob. So I better put that back on there and then turn off. Right, there we go. It's vital to cool the wort before adding yeast. Use the calendar to advance time a day. Hang on a minute, what have I missed here? Wait until... Right, so we need to wait until it's got to 21 degrees. So open calendar. We'll advance one day. Back. And the temperature is 20 degrees now. So retrieve fermentation container, small, from the equipment cupboard. Blimey, all right, there's a lot to remember here, isn't there? So fermentation container, which is that one there. There we are. So we're going to retrieve that. That's we've got that. Um, pour the wort into fermentation container, small. While holding the brew pot... Look at the fermentation container and press X to pour it. Right, so we're going to pop that on there. I can only presume we're going to have to remove the lid. Yep, okay. So let's pick this up. There we go. Let's pour that into there. So uh, increase is RB. So we're going to pour... Oh, it sounds good. It sounds good. But you all can't wait to have a sip of this. There we go, so stop pouring, and we will pop our, uh, stow that item in our inventory. Okay, retrieve a packet of yeast from the fridge freezer, so that's over here. So, very similar to cooking simulator, isn't it, that sort of ilk. Um, there we go, so we've got some yeast. Yeast is crucial to the brewing process as it turns fermentable sugars into CO2, and best of all, alcohol. It will also add its own unique flavours to your beer during this process. Continue. Atuantation is the yeast efficiency. How much of the fermentable sugars it will convert into alcohol and CO2. The remainder will become unfermentable sugars. Okay. The yeast to ferment the, the wort must be within its optimal temperature. Outside of this, the yeast will start to hibernate or even die. This is why cooling the wort before adding yeast is vital. So we're going to go for a British ale yeast because I'm British and all that nonsense. And we'll retrieve one of them. For some reason, I've got two. Pour all the yeast into the fermentation container. We're going to pour all this in, so increase. I'm telling you one thing already. This is a lot more user-friendly than it was on the PC with the controller. It really is. It's making it for a bit more of an enjoyable experience. I mean, I won't put that in the bin. Stow the item. Okay, so do I need more yeast? How much yeast was I supposed to put in there? Oh, rubbish. Right, back to the fridge. Open the fridge. Um, Yeast. Get another one of them. Right, here we go. Let's pour this in again think we should have had two but if we're putting too much in we're putting too much in it's not a problem it'll be a very yeasty beer here we go there we go we'll pour all the information and then uh stow that rubbish let's put the lid back on yeah attach the lid i don't think we should have put that uh, yeast in there then use the calendar to wait 15 days Right, so back to the calendar. So, 
Let's skip this on. Oh no, that's a little bit too far. 15 days. Oh, I've gone 16 days. Ah well. I'm going to stop there with one day to go. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar. I am never going to remember all this. I hope there's like a, a recipe book. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar from the ingredients cupboard. Now we want some corn sugar. Is this corn sugar? No. Is this corn sugar? Yes. There we go. So we'll retrieve one of them. Add 150 grams of corn sugar to fermentation con fermentation Fermentation container small. Well, let's whack. Hang on, let's pop this down here. Oh no, pop that down as well. We'd, oh, for crying out! I've got all this stuff in my hands. Put that down there. Right, take the lid off again. We're going to need to pick that up. 150 grams of this um, is going in there. So let's keep an eye on what we're pouring here. Ooh. Right, so seven grams too much, but not a problem. Not a problem. Right, so there we go. Retrieve a plastic barrel small and a tube from the equipment cupboard. So there. Where's our plastic barrel? And we need a tube, which is there. Right, so there we've got that. Okay, place the barrel on a lower surface. So we'll pop the barrel down there like that. Then the fermentation container connects a tube between the fermentation container. No. I want to put the lid back on that. There we go. Um, we need to attach this tube now to that. So how do we do that? Connect a tube from the fermentation container's tap which is there, connect tube, to that tube is it, connect there, there we go, have I done that, is it done, I can't tell if that's done or not, hold attach cube, open tap, Open tap. So is that working or not? The transfer doesn't work. Make sure the tap is open and the conditioning container is lower than the fermentation. Well, it definitely is, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's working. It's working. It is passing through. It's definitely passing through. So do I need... How long have I got to wait now because... There's like 21 litres, so let's press LT. Keep my eye on that. Let's speed up time for 21 litres. There we go. Press LT. Right, close the barrels. Um, in fact, let's leave that on. We've got all the barrel closed up and everything like it's saying and then wait 21 days um so go there open calendar we'll go to 21 days advance there we go counting down 21 days three weeks exactly while we just stand there in front of the calendar taste and package your beer okay I'll take it all my beer is in there. Okay. Where we go. So we go this way. Nope, not that way. We go through. Let's all oh, look at this. We've got a beer tasting room, ladies and gentlemen. Um okay, so what does it want me to do here? I'm not entirely sure, so I'll just pop that down on there for a second. These things are getting on my nerves. So what does it want me to do here now? Time for all your hard work to pay off. Bring the barrel to the taps in the tasting room and give your beer a try. Okay, so let's pick that up again. 
taste beer. Here we go then. Let's the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this was supposed to be a pale ale. It's a dark. So it's fairly fizzy. Clarity hazy. So do we get an award for that or let's continue? It's very malty. Crisp and clean. Malty and sweet. A little bit of fruit and spice. And it's a bit hoppy. It's a bit hoppy. The aroma and flavour notes. Woody. Caramel. Esther. So, none of that means an awful lot to me. So, beer style. It's more of a Scottish export. Which, what wasn't I was, I was going for? I was going for a more of a traditional British bitter. Okay, so lots of information there. If you are a brew bit, uh, brewer. Let me know what any of that means down in the uh, comments down below. So what we can do, the packaging screen is where you can name your finished beer, choose its style, and also design a label for the front. Okay, so beer name. Um, Y. So let's call it CGD's Dark um, I don't know, we'll call it the Dark Knight, because it is a dark ale, so there we go, so style, glass, and we'll confirm that, uh, bottle, and we can only have that one, put it in, put it in a good old pint glass, there we go, and uh, we'll edit our label, so what have we got, illustration, we got any illustrations on there? Text banner. Uh, I'm looking at like some sort of um, label template. So here we go. This is what I was looking for. This kind of thing. There, I think that's. Oh, look at that one there. Yes, that is perfect. CGD's dark night. That will do. That is absolutely perfect. Return to workshop. There we go. Brew a bit. When you're ready, advance to the next season. So what do we do with this? We've got a couple of achievements there as well. Brew your first beer. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that bottle. So we'll stow the item and quality brew as well. There we go. We've brewed our first beer. We are all good to go. But now I wonder... What happens next? So it's asking us to go this way. Um, advance to the next season. The next season there, so we'll confirm. There we are. Pick up the Brewer's Quarterly Magazine. Right, so we'll read that. Oh, it's that fella again. Uh, do you know what the best thing about brewing beer is? People want to drink it. Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. I've sent you a copy of the Brewers Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty of for home brewers, recipes, articles, a catalogue, and, but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity. A brewer's services are always in demand, and jobs are great to earn an income while increasing your brewing mastery. Want to give it a go? So then we complete a job. And this looks like it's not just. I'm trying to continue, but uh, it's not letting me. But that's not good, is it? Is the game bugged? Because we can't complete a job. I'm pressing all the buttons. And yes, well, that's not great for a first look, is it? At all. Well, I think at that stage, ladies and gentlemen, we might have to leave it because there is nothing I can... Oh, hang on a second. There we go. It's come out. I don't know what I did. So here we go. At the start of each season, you'll find new jobs, recipes, and articles in the Brewers Quarterly. These will be automatically added to your journal and Brewpedia, which will subsequently grow as you progress through the game. 
Uh, there'll be two new jobs every season, each offering rewards such as bear tokens, mastery, and sometimes special items. You're free to complete one, both, or neither. It's up to you. Although for this part of the tutorial, you'll need to complete at least one. Each job comes with its own set of requirements that you need to be met by your bear in order to complete the job. They also have an optional bonus requirement that grants extra rewards if met. Okay, so we've got difficulty straightforward and difficulty straightforward. Um, we've got what, different pages. No, it won't let us turn the page. So track one of the jobs by selecting the track box. So a local band wished to mark the release of their first record, a space-themed concept album. Or the organisers of a local food festival are looking for a special beer to celebrate this year's theme. So let's go for this one then. Okay, select the recipes tab. Uh, there's there'll usually be two new recipes in each issue of the Brewers Quarterly, which are automatically added to your collection of recipes in your journal. Okay, each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients the steps involved and the estimated final stats of the beer. When doing a job, you usually want to pin a recipe that matches the job's requirements. For example, if the job requires a certain ingredient, you should find a recipe that contains it. Pinned recipes will appear on the hood so you can easily follow the steps while brewing. So it looks like it's picked this one out for me here. So we've pinned that. Pinned recipes like track jobs can be changed at any time. You can do this in the recipe section in the Brewers Quarterly or in your journal. Each issue of the Brewers Quarterly also includes beer-related articles which are automatically added to your Brewpedia, great for expanding your brewing knowledge. So if we go to articles, which it won't let me at the moment. When you're ready to select the catalogue, this is where you can buy the ingredients needed for your pinned recipe. Okay, so there we go. So what if essentially you're brewing beer for different people that, that require different things from the beer so i could see this getting quite interesting uh, as you play on so yeah i think you know for the for the money that it costs i think this if you're into your simulation games you're into your beer or games like cooking simulator or um chef life i think this isn't a bad purchase at all so um, let me know what you think down in the description down below, or in the comments down below rather. And if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It'd be very much appreciated. And please consider hitting the subscribe button as well and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live every Tuesday and Saturday and any time I drop new content onto the channel. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again real soon. Goodbye.